Well, that's a an Illinois Central we, uh, car, train car is what they call that. I had to think a minute. Uh, and this is another view of the side of the entrance. This, this is not the front. This is actually the back, but it's where you walk in. Over the door, I like this side right here. Over the door, it says, Water Valley, New Orleans, 323 miles, and Chicago, 589 miles. Water Valley used to be a major train hub, uh, especially during the, well, right before the Civil War, it was, it was a huge, it was very, very important as, for the farmers who needed to get their cotton down to New Orleans to be sold to mark the uh, markets all over the world. New Orleans is a was a port big is still a big port town, but it was a big port town then. And the farmers inland here in Mississippi, there's there are cotton patches all around Water Valley. I grew up in cotton territory, so I. I I especially pre appreciate the cotton patches here. But the farmers here needed to get their cotton down to Water Valley. And this is before jet planes and cars, of, of much, of many cars. I don't even know what. Well, no, but you see. That would have been horse and wagon before the Civil War. That would be the alternative. And they'd take a, many horses and many wagons to get a bunch of cotton down to uh, to New Orleans. But anyway, so they, they shifted in these big train cars over the land. And, and I actually have on my blog post the route that would have taken, the route that this train would have taken from from all the way from up in Holly Springs, which is just south of south of Tennessee, uh, not near the river on the other other side of Tennessee, all the way from Holly Springs through Oxford, through Taylor, Mississippi, and then down through Water Valley, and then catch a train to New Orleans.